Okay. So let me share my screen. Okay po. For this week, uh, tapos na tayo dun sa ating pong, uh, uh, mga series and sequences. We'll be entering another um, another set of topics. So now we'll be having polynomials. So we're entering algebra. Okay po. So when we talk about polynomials, again, those are an expression. A polynomial is an expression kung saan bawal, ano yung mga bawal si polynomials para may consider natin as polynomials. Bawal ang meron siyang um, exponent, exponent na decimal, exponent na negative. Ibig sabihin, kasi kapag yung exponent siya na decimal, it will be rad um, radical expression ang tawag doon. May may mga square root kapag i-change natin sa inter internormal side. Kapag may negative naman tayo, it will be rational. Ibig sabihin magkakaroon tayo ng um, ng uh, denominator kung saan nandun yung ating mga variable. Tandaan, sa polynomial, bawal po ang may variable sa baba. Okay po, sa, sa variable sa baba. Maliban na lang, if it is, um, talito, it, is, it is a process. Okay po. So, polynomial. So, in terms of polynomial, mula pa ng grade 7, nagpa-polynomials na tayo. Eh, uh, ako ba yung naririnig ng maliwanag? Pa, thumbs up kapag naririnig po ako ng maliwanag? Okay po. So, mula pa ng grade 7, nag- uh, Nag, uh, nagpa-polynomials na kayo. So, you know na the different kinds of polynomials according to degree. So, starting with a constant, then uh, we have linear, then we have quadratic, cubic, uh, uh, and pataas ang pataas. You also know polynomials according to number of terms, which is monomial, binomial, trinomial, and multinomial. So, what we are more concerned today is about division of polynomials. Nasa division agad tayo kasi yung multiplications, addition, subtraction, kinuha nyo na yung lower year. Now we are focused on the division of polynomials. Okay? In the division of polynomials, there are two ways in order to divide the polynomials. We have the long division and synthetic division. For this division, sabi nga, nag-division man kami nung, nung lower years, yes po. But this time around, our focus is dividing a polynomial by a binomial. Ibig sabihin, dalawang, uh, dalawang term ang pang-divide natin. Uh, there are two ways to divide that. It can be long division and synthetic division. I'll be showing you both, but we are, um, I would like you to analyze more the synthetic division. Kasi ito yung mas mabilis at mas, uh, mas epektibong way ng pang-divide ng polynomials. Ipo. Let's have an example. Okay po. So I have here an example of our polynomial, which is 3x cubed plus 9x minus 10 plus 16x squared divided by x plus 3. Kung mapansin nyo, this is a polynomial composed of four, four terms divided by a binomial composed of two terms. Okay po. So, ibig sabihin, paano natin to gagawin? Please take note that in order the, the first way to analyze the situation is to look at the your um, your polynomial. Kung kompleto ba siya? When paano ba natin siya sabing kompleto ba siya? If your highest degree is three, ibig sa katulad nito, your highest degree is three na nahigitan nyo ang exponent niya ay three. Ibig sabihin dapat meron yung x squared, merong x at may ten. Uh, may constant. Ibig sabihin, dapat pababa, decreasing ang kanyang exponent. Dapat kompleto. Kapag hindi siya kompleto, may process tayong gagawin. But in this case, kompleto naman siya kasi we have 3, we have 2, we have 1, yung hindi nakasulat na x, at merong walang but at merong walang variable. Okay po. The first step is to, let's start with the long division. Long division muna tayo ha. Long division. Okay. So long division is just like the normal division. Uh, balik, balikan lang natin yung normal division natin. Example, 564, 564 divided by 4. Dito sa tabi nilalagay ha. Di ba ang ginagawa natin? May ilang 4 sa 5. Inilalagay natin 1. 1 times 4, 4. Then ima-minus natin. Then 5 minus 4, 1. Then 16. 
Then, did, alamin natin, may ilang 4 sa 16. That will be 4. 4 times 4, 16. So, i-minus ulit natin. So, that will be 0, bring down 4. Then, 4 divided by 4 is 1, para maging 1 times 4, 4. 4 minus 4 equals 0. So, ganyan din ang gagawin natin. But, we have to rewrite this first into proper arrangement. Ano ibig sabihin ko ng proper arrangement? We should be starting with the highest, the, the term with the highest exponent. So, that is 3 x cube. Ano sunod? That will be 16 x squared. Followed by 19x. Then followed by negative 10. 19x. X, then followed by 10. Divided by x plus 3. x plus 3. Excuse me po, ang atin po, pakimute po muna. Okay po. So we have 3x cubed plus 16x squared plus 19x minus 10 divided by x plus 3. So, ha, paano, na, paano na tayo magdi-divide? Eh, dalawa po ito. Ito marami. Our focus is our first term and our first term dito. Yan ang focus natin. May ilang... Ano itatize mo sa x para maging 3x cubed? So that is simple, simply as 3x cubed divided by x. So that will be 3x squared. Tama? Kasi 3 divided by 1, 3. x cubed divided by x. Pag ma-minusin lang natin exponent, 3 minus 1, 2. So ibig sabihin, ilalagay mo dito. 3x squared. Kasi 3x squared times x, that will be 3x cubed. Then, madadamay na lang to. Ito times mo rin. 3x squared times 3, that will be positive 9x squared. Pagka times natin, anong sunod natin ginawa? May 9 no. So, ibig sabihin, we have to subtract. So, ang positive magiging negative. At ang positive magiging negative. We have to change sign. So this will be cancelled. Then 16 minus 9, that will be 7x squared. Then bring down 19x. And continue with the process again. Our focus now is 7x squared. 7x divided by x, 7x squared, divided by x, it will be 7 divided by 1 is 7. x squared divided by x is 7x. So this is positive 7x. 7x times x, that will be 7x squared. Then positive 7 times 3, that's positive 21x. Then we have to change sign. This will be negative. That will be negative. So 7 minus 7, that will be cancelled. Then we have 19 minus 21, that will be negative 2x minus 10. Then in focus again natin ay yung nasa unahan. This is negative 2x. Negative 2x divided by x, that will be Negative 2 divided by 1, kasi may 1 tayo dito, that will be negative 2. Then x divided by x, that will be cancelled. So, ang answer natin is negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Then we have negative 2 times 3, that will be negative 6x. Negative 6, sorry, negative 6. Then change sign, this will be become, this will become positive. And this will become positive. So cancel. So that's negative 10 plus 6. That will be negative 4. Ibig sabihin, our remainder is negative 4. Having that negative 4, ibig sabihin, we can confirm 
that x plus 3 is not a factor of this one. Kasi para masabi natin siyang factor, dapat wala siyang remainder. Dahil may, may remainder nga siya na negative 4, ibig sabihin hindi siya factor, paano natin isusulat yung negative 4? So ang gagawin po natin, plus, open parenthesis, negative 4 over, anong divisor natin? x plus 3. So this is our final answer. 3x squared plus 7x minus 2 plus the quantity negative 4 over x plus 3. Okay? For that, any questions so far? Along the division. Alin yung parte na hindi naintindihan? I am accommodating questions. Ano yung parte yung hindi naintindihan? Nandiyan pa po ba kayo? Naintindihan po lahat? You can open your mic. Nag-gets po? Oh, oh, sir. Okay po. Nag-gets po. Um, this will be a very tedious ano, process. Masyadong matrabaho. But I'll be teaching you the shorter version. The shorter version is what we call synthetic division. Synthetic division from the word synthetic, synthetic ay fake. Synthetic, hindi siya, hindi siya genuine. Ibig sabihin, nag-divide, mag-divide, magkaroon tayo ng division, pero hindi tayo mag-divide. Kasi joke lang nag-division siya, pero ano ba, division siya. Paano po yun? So, ano, ano sir, sinasabi niyong fake division? So, ito po yung gagawin natin. Pahinggan po maike paano po ginagawa. So, na, na, balikan lang natin to na naayos natin ito, which is 3x cubed plus 16x squared plus 19x minus 10. Okay? Sabi natin, kompleto siya. So, kung kompleto siya, our focus is only on the numerical coefficient. Ibig sabihin sa numbers on the hand. So, that will be 3 positive 16, positive 19, and negative 10. Yan lang ang concern ko. Paano po malalaman kung kompleto? Tinan mo yung exponent, which is 3. Dagdagan mo ng isa, 4. So, ibig sabihin, dapat apat yung number dito. So, 3 plus 1, 4. So, apat yan. So, kompleto tayo. Ngayon, we have x plus 3 here as our divisor. Please take note na ito lang yung process na gagawin natin. x plus 3 equals 0. I-equate muna natin sa 0. So, x is equals to negative 3. At ang negative 3 ang ilalagay natin dito. Okay po. Nasusundan pa po muna kung paano ginawa yun. Pasagot po muna. Ano po? Okay po. So, kinuha lang natin yung numerical coefficient, then inequate natin yung divisor sa x0, then hinanap natin yung value. Ito po ang process. Pahinggan. The first thing is to bring this down. 3. Pinaba lang natin. Then, multiply. Ilagay dito. 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9. Then add. Positive 16 minus 9, walang change ng sign ha. Positive 16 minus 9, that will be 7. Next, multiply ulit. 7 times negative 3, negative 21. Positive 19 minus 21 is negative 2. Then negative 2 times negative 6, that will be positive 6. Negative 10 plus 6, then there will be negative 4. And we're done. Kung mapansin nyo, 3, 7, negative 2, negative 4, that will be 3, 7, negative 2, negative 4. Tapos agad. Paano natin susulat yan? This negative 4 is your exponent. So that is plus, magagaling tayo sa likod, negative 4 over, anong divisor natin? X plus 3. 
Then we have public time tayo. Public tayo. Negative two. Negative two. Then we have seven x. Public tayo. Nilagyan natin ng x. Ano sulit sa x? X squared. Then we have three x squared. Three x squared. Tapos. Di ba pareho lang? Ganon kabilis. Nakuha po. Hindi siya ganun kahirap, pero pareho ang sagot. Hello po. May, question, may nakuha po? Wala po, sir. Nakuha po. Alin po ang mas madali? Yung synthetic po. Yung synthetic, di ba? Hindi, 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 hindi masyadong maraming trabaho. Hindi masyadong maraming trabaho, pero pareho lang ang sagot. Okay? So, kaya pinakita ko muna itong long division para makita nyo saan siya nang galing. Ganon siya kahirap. Ganon siya sa katrabaho. Hindi nyo kasi ma-appreciate ang synthetic division kung hindi nyo alam ang long. Hindi nyo ma-appreciate ma ma ang shortcut kung hindi nyo naman alam ang mahabang daan. ba diba? So, ngayon, pinakita ko sa inyo yung mahabang daan. May ito, mas madaling paraan. So, Ang focus na lang natin ngayon ay I would like you to focus on the synthetic division. Okay? Let's have um, ano po yung itong, itong nasa baba? Um, this is the two way of writing. This is the two way of writing our our quotient. Pwede siyang QX yan, which is our quotient plus our remainder which is negative 4 over our DX which is uh which is our x plus 3 or pwede natin siyang isulat as pwede siyang isulat as 3x squared plus 7x minus 2 times x plus 3 which is our divisor minus 4 Yan ang two ways ng pagsusulat niyan. Ito is the quotient. Um, uh, ito yung paraan na naka-quotient siya. Ito yung factor form. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin siyang isulat as 3x squared plus 7x minus 2 plus the quantity negative 4 over x plus 3. Kung gusto natin ipakita ay yung quotient lang mismo. Pero kung gusto natin ipakita ay yung factor form, that will be 3x squared plus 7x minus 2 times our div divisor, which is x plus 3 minus 4. Okay? But ang gagamitin po natin ay ito. Yes po, sa isa ama, ama, at may question. Sa isa, nag ka ng hand. Question. Wala po. Okay, so clear natin ito. Let's have another one. Para po, yan. So I have here 2x cubed plus negative, minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 7. The question now, kompleto ba to o hindi? Gusto kong manggaling sa inyo. Kompleto ba siya o hindi? Kompleto. 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 Kasi may x cubed, bas may x squared, may x, may 7. Okay po? So, cube siya. So, dapat apat na terms. So, tama ang apat na terms siya. So, paano natin susulat? Ang sulat po natin dito ay yung first term la, uh, mga numerical coefficients, which is 2, negative 5, positive 3, and positive 7. Yan lang ang concern natin yung mga numerical coefficient. Then, x plus, x minus 2, so we have to equate that first into 0. So, so that will become x minus 2, so that will become equals 0, x equals to 2. x equals to 2. So, ang 2 ilalagay natin dito. So, that will become break, bring down 2 Tandaan, ang unang process ay bring down the first term. 2 times 2, 4. You can open your mic para sagutin niyo ako. Negative 5 plus 4. Negative 1. Negative 1, that's correct. 
Negative 1 times 2. Negative 2. Negative 2. 3 minus 2. 1. Positive 1. Then 1 times 2. Positive 2. 7, times, 7 plus 2. Positive 9. Positive 9. So we're done. Tapos agad tayo. So magsimula, ang, ang ating pong remainder ay 9. So dahil may remainder tayo, we can say that 2x x minus 2 is not a factor, tandaan, hindi siya factor ng 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 7 kasi may exponent siya. Para maging factor, dapat walang remainder. So paano natin siya isusudan? Pabaliktad tayo. So that it will be plus the quantity 9 over Ano yung divisor? X minus 2. Then punta tayo sa constant which is positive 1 minus ito dapat ay X. X. 1X. 1X, hindi na natin isunusulat ang 1 so pwede lang na siyang negative X. Then this will be 2X squared. And we are done. Tapos po tayo. Okay? Clear po tayo? Question? Okay po. Paano po yung iba-ibang way na pagpapakita ng division? Okay po. Ang ibang-iba, sinusulat siya. Ah, so kanina may, divide, may divided sign. Meron equal sign. This can also be written as P of 2 equals 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 7. Yan ang isang uri rin ng pagsusulat. Ito rin yan yan. Pareho lang yan. Kasi ang 2 ang gagamitin natin. P of 2 versus itong given. So gan parehong process lang yan. Okay? Or the other one is what is the, what is the quotient if 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 7 is divided by x equals 2. Yan ang iba-ibang way ng pagsusulat ng uh, division para alam nyo. Yung may division sign, yung naka-fraction naka, naka sign, naka P of 2, or ang question is, the co what is the quotient if x 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 7 is divided by the value of x equals 2? So pare-pareho lang yan, iisa po ang process nun. Clear po tayo? Eh? Clear po tayo? Apo. Ah, po. Let's have another one. Apo. Let's have another one. Let's have this one. Ah, yan. 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 9 divided by x plus 3. Kompleto, hindi? Hindi pa. Hindi. Ano ang nawawala? Ano ang nawawala? Variable of x po. Wala tayong variable x. May x cube tayo, may x squared tayo, wala tayong x, pero may constant tayo. So, paano natin isosolve yon? So, tandaan natin, kailangan apat na term yan. E, atatatlo yan. So, ibig sabihin, pag isunulat natin yan, ay kanto. 2 is 4x cube. 2 is equals to x cube. Then 5 is for x squared. Ano pong x? Tandaan natin, ibig sabihin nito is 2x cubed plus 5x squared. Kaya siya wala dahil 0 ang x natin. Plus 9. Okay, hindi po 1 ha? Kasi kung may 1 yan, may x dapat yan. Kaya nawala yung x natin kasi 0 x siya. So, ibig sabihin, pag sinunod natin siya, dapat may 0 sa haba ang 9. Clear po tayo? Opo, sir. So, huwag kakalimutan na. Depende, kunyari, ang given sa atin ay x cube minus 1. Ibig sabihin, ilang nawawala dyan? Walang x squared, walang x. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang 0 dapat yon Sa gitna. Eh? Kung ilan ang nawawala, yun ang number ng 0 na ilalagay mo. Since isang term lang yung nawawala dito, 
isang zero lang ang nilagay ko. Then, our, our ano po, ang atin pong x plus 3. So, ang x plus 3 natin, it will be x plus 3 equals 0. Then, it will be x equals negative 3. So, negative 3 dito. So, let's try. Bring down the first number. So, that will be 2. 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6. 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 4. Then 0 plus 4, that is still positive 4. 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12. Then 9, plus, 9 minus 12 is negative 3. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa rin siya factor. Okay? So, paano natin susulat to? So, plus unang-una, quantity negative 3 over x plus 3. Then, this will be our constant, positive 4. This will be our x. So, dahil 1 yan, hindi na natin susulat. That's negative x na lang. Then this will be our x squared. So, that will be 2x squared. And we're done. Kahit gawin niyo po yung long division, pareho lang po ang magiging sagot siya. Clear po tayo? Question? Oh, sir. Sir. Okay po. po. Sir, po. question po. Ano pong question? Paano po naging positive Paano po naging positive 4 yun? Yung negative Ay, 3 times negative 1 po. Ay, mali nga. It should be negative 3. Correct. Negative 3. So this is 3. Positive 3 po, sir. Apo, positive 3. Thank you for correcting me. So that's positive 3 times positive 3. It's negative 9. So, delete lang natin. Erase natin. Okay. Para lang tayo maliwanag. Correct tayo dyan. So, delete natin. Again, correct natin yun. So, it will be negative 1 times negative 3. It's positive 3. Okay na po. 0 plus 3. That's positive 3. Then, negative positive 3 times negative 3. That's negative 3. 9, then we have 0 as the remainder. So, ibig sabihin, if that is 0 as the remainder, ibig sabihin, x plus 3 is a factor of 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 9. So, paano natin isusulat yan? Wala po tayong remainder, so magsisimula tayo sa 3. So, that's positive 3, wala pong remainder, minus x, 2x squared. Ito na lang po yan. Wala tayong remainder. Clear po tayo? Okay na po? Apo. 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 So, yun nga lang. Please be careful with multiplication and addition. Katulad ko, thank you for correcting me na it should be positive 3. Clear po tayo? Question? Okay na po, sir. Okay na po. Okay Wala po. na po, sir. Clear. So, let's move with another idea. Okay. Clear ko na ngayon. Ito. So, paano naman kung ang tanong lang naman, kanyari, hindi naman pinahanap sa inyo ang quotient. Ang tinanong lang sa inyo ay ano ang remainder? Or, ito ba ay factor o hindi? Ito ba ay factor o hindi? So, anong gagawin natin? Kailangan ba natin pagdaanan ng lahat? Pwede naman, pwede may shortcut din. Ano po yung shortcut niya? It will be the, re the remainder theorem. The remainder theorem states that if polynomial Px is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is p of x. Okay po, ano ibig sabihin? Let's have an example. What is the remainder of x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 3. So kanina, ang ginagawa natin para makita natin yung remainder, balikan lang natin, gumagamit tayo ng synthetic division. ba? So ang tanong ba, kompleto ba yan? 
Kompleto ba to? Apo. Oh, so that will become x cube, ibig sabihin that will be 1, then 4, then we have 3, we have negative 2. Then yung x minus 3, so x minus 3 equals 0, then that is x equals to 3. That will be x equals to 3. So if that's the case of x equals to 3, so this will be 3. 1, bring down 1. 1 times 3, that will be that will be 3. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 times 3, 21. 21 times plus 3, 24. Tama? Then 24 times 3, I think this is 72. 72 plus negative 2, that will 70. be 70. So dito, kita natin na ang remainder natin ay 70. Ang tinatanong lang na may remainder, ah. hindi naman tinatanong ang quotient. Ang tanong raw ay remainder. So ang sasagot mo, what is the remainder? The remainder is 70. Okay? But there's another way of doing that. You can use this idea. P of P of 3. Tinaya natin yon. P of 3. So, ano ibig sabihin ng P of 3 na yan? Ang gagawin natin, papalta natin lahat ng X ng 3. So, this will be 3 cubed plus 4 times 3, 3 squared plus 4 times 3 minus 2. Lahat ng X dito, pinaltang ko ng 3. What is 3 cubed? That will be 27. What is 3 squared? That is 3 times 3, 9 times 4, 36. 4 times 3, that will be 12. Minus 2. 27 plus 36, that will be 53. 53. 53 plus, tama ba? No, 63. Sorry, 63 plus 12, 72. 72 minus 2, that is still 70. Para walang sila. Yan ay kapag remainder lang ang hinahanap. So, pwede tayong mag-remainder theorem na papalta lang natin ng value ang ating pong uh, um, X or pwede tayong gumamit ng synthetic division kung saan kayo mas nadadelayan. Kung meron kayong calculator, mas madali itong, if, kung nahanap ang remainder, mas madali itong if change na lang. Pero kung gusto nyo naman mabilisan at nagko-compute, pwede kayong gumamit ng synthetic division. Clear po tayo? Okay. Sir, po. tanong po ulit. Yes po. Paano po? Po, naging positive 12. 4 times sir. 3. 4 times 3. Tinag yung times, four, pinag times, pinag times three. natin itong dalawa. Hindi po ba 3 times 3 yun, sir? Hindi ah. po yun, sir. Sir, di ba pa 3 times? Three. Oh, okay po, yung correction ulit. Oh, clear natin. Eraser natin. Ba, sir, times three. It should be 3. Hindi po okay. yun. It should be 3. Okay po. So, 3 times 3. So, correct natin yun. So, this is 3 times 3. That will be 9. 50, 27 plus 27 plus 36, 63. 63 plus 9, 72. 72 minus 2, 70. Okay po. So, alin man sa dalawa, pwede niyo gamitin in terms of the remainder. Kung remainder lang naman ang hinahanap, pwede kayong mag-synthetic division or pwede kayong mag-substitution by remainder theorem. Okay? Ibig sabihin, pag tinanong din, is x minus 3 a factor of x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 2? Factor ba siya o hindi?
Doctor or hindi? Anyone? No po. Yes or no? No. No. Kasi may remainder tayo na 70. Once na may remainder tayo, ibig sabihin, hindi siya factor. Okay po tayo? Okay. Clear po natin to. Let's have another one. That's x cubed. So find the remainder. The question is find the remainder for x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x minus 2. Find the remainder. So if that is the, the uh, if we are to look for the remainder, so let's have this one. Okay. So that will be 1. If kagamitin natin yung ano ha, if kagamitin natin yung synthetic division, that will be 1, negative 1, negative 4, then positive 4. Then, anong magiging value dito sa labas? Ano po magiging value dito? Anyone? Positive 4. Positive 4. That's correct. So, bring down the first number. That will be 2. 2 times 2. Uh, 2 times 2, 4. Tama. 4 minus 1. That will be positive 3. 2 times 3, that will be 6. Then, positive 6 minus 4 is positive 2. Positive 2 times 2, positive 4. Then, that will be 8. So, the remainder is 8. Check nyo nga kung tama. Check nyo nga kung tama. So bring down 2, 2 times 2, 4, then 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 4 is positive 2, positive 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. Tama po ba? Opo, oh, sir. Okay po. If this, if sinatanong ang remainder, synthetic division, ito yon. Kamitin natin ngayon ang remainder theorem. So, ibig sabihin, that will be P of 2. P of 2. So, ipapalit natin ang 2. So, that will become, kung iyan ay x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4. Ito ay magiging 2 cubed minus 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 4. So that will be 8. Negat 2 times 2, tandaan, nilagay ko siya sa parenthesis ha, hindi, pa, hindi madadami yung negative kasi ang um, operation yung minus sign. 2 times 2, 4, so that will be minus 4. 4 times 2, 8. That will be minus 8. Okay? Minus 8 plus 4. Tama ba? Plus 8. Okay. Para ba magiging sagot natin? 8 minus 8. Hindi ba't mag magsi-0? Check nga natin to. 0 po. Uh, 1, 2 times 2, 4. Ay, ito o, oh, 4, 3, 3. 3, 2 times 2, 4. 4 minus 1, 3. 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 6. 6, 4 times 2, 2. Okay. 2 times 2, 4, then 8. Try natin to. Ginamit natin ay 2. 2 cube, that's correct. That's 2 cube. 2 squared, that's 4 minus. Then we have 4. 4 times 2, that's negative 8. 10 plus 4. So 8 minus 4, bakit nag-0 siya? Sir, yung ano po? Yung 1 po. Uh, yung sir, yung bring down nyo, sir. Ah, tinan mo. Sabi sa inyo, 8. Eh, 
check niyo kung may mali tayo eh. Dito tayo mm-hmm. mamaya sa bring down. Okay po. Ulitin natin yung synthetic kung magtatama na tayo. Okay. Sa synthetic, ang bring down natin ang mali. 1 times 2. 1 times 2. 2. Tama? Negative 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 times 2, 2. Then this will be negative 2. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4. So this is 0. So pareho na sila. Equals to 0. Okay? Pareho na sila. Yan. May mali tayo dito sa synthetic division. Mali yung bring down natin na una. Okay? So pareho lang. Siguro. Ibig sabihin, we can conclude that x minus 2 is a factor. x minus 2 is a factor. Kasi remainder ay 0. Question? Double check lagi ha. Kato ko, 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 ko minsan nalilito eh. So, please double check. Kasi alam niyo yung process mas so minsan iba yun na isusulat natin. Ha? Always double check. Okay? And for that, any question? Wala na po? Wala na po sir. Wala okay. po sir. For your activity, yan, page 21, 1 to 5, kailangan ko po ng computation na synthetic division na lang ang gagamitin nyo. Kailangan ko makita yung paraan ng synthetic division, 1 to 5. Page 21. Okay? Ano pa yung sunod? 22. Hinahanap lang ang remainder for learning tasks. For learning task 2, remainder. So, bahala kayo kung gagamitin nyo ay um, synthetic division or the remainder theorem. Basta ang kailangan isulat ay remainder. Dapat po may solution. And letter B, ang tanong lang ay factor ba siya o hindi? Yung nasa unahan yung ating pong pan-divide. Yung x minus 1, x plus 1. X minus 4, A minus 1, Y plus 3. Sa ba ay factor nito, kapag ang remainder ay 0, it's yes. Kapag ang remainder ay hindi, 0, it's no. But you have to write the remainder. Ha? Para sure tayo. So for letter B, pakisulat po ang remainder, then yes or no. Clear po tayo? Question. May solution pa po sa letter B. Sa letter B, kailangan ko lang isulat nyo ang, ang remainder. Kailangan nyo isulat yung remainder. So parang nag-solution na rin kayo. Kailangan nyo isulat ang remainder. Madali kasing kumopya sa likod, sa totoo lang. Madaling kumopya sa, sa likod. Pero ang kailangan ko, walang solution sa likod. So yung solution na nagpapatunay na kayo ang gumawa. Okay. So, for letter B, kung hindi nyo man isusulat yung solution, dapat isulat nyo kung ano yung remainder. Kasi may point din yung remainder. Okay? Clear po tayo? Balikan ko lang ha. For 21, this will be two points. Ang kailangan ko po dito ay yung solution at yung final answer. Yung meron pong mga xx na. Okay po? Yung may mga xx na. Okay. Then, for, the, for learning task 2, ang kailangan ko ay remainder. May solution. So, ang solution at remainder ang may points dyan. For letter B, ano may points dito? Yung, yung remainder at yung yes or no. Okay? So, 2 points din yan. So, ibig sabihin total of 30 points po yan. Any question so far? Any question? Any question po tayo? Saan po susulat? Sa papel. Sa papel. 
Okay na po? Thumbs up kung okay na po tayo. Okay. Okay so, na po, sir. Okay po. You may start writing. Thank you very much for attending. Okay. Goodbye. Pa, ah, yeah. Okay, pa, bye bye.